Hi, Pisces. Welcome back to Golden Numbers Collection. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is going to be for you. Uh, I'm going to say at this point this reading is timeless, okay, because of the way that all of the energy has worked out. You guys have just gone through that full moon in Virgo, so lots of organizational change and structure needing to come about. Uh, I don't know what else is happening for you. Three of Swords, okay, but it's it's kind of over and I'm gonna take it this way so what that means is there's something that you're possibly going through right now I feel like it's already happened whatever it is all right it did cause it did cause you some dissatisfaction but since it's already happened and you're kind of sitting in this pain you're really at the point now where you need to learn to let go of the negativity in the past of things that have happened okay yep uh, you could be feeling stuck at this point because we have the Eight of Swords here. Uh, I don't know if someone is not giving to a situation properly, but when you walk away from something, I feel like it's you're actually going to be giving to yourself, okay? if that makes sense. Yeah, okay. And then here we have the um, Seven of Cups. So a little bit of that confusion, that Neptunian energy, whatever might be going on there, especially with that moon in Virgo. Neptune and Virgo don't necessarily go together, so it might have been something that is kind of hindering you, okay? Whatever this love was in the past. Pisces, what else can we have? tell Pisces, please? But the overall energy is that you're going to get over it. You're going to pull out of something here, all right? Being stuck is not where you want to be, okay? Yeah. Nine of Wands. They're, they're basically saying that somebody could be overprotective as well. There could be some confusion there with someone being overprotective. Tell me about Pisces, please. I just saw the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So to me, that's going to be about lovers, you know, possible love affairs. You're going to find clarity with that. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Four of Wands, guys. New opportunities and new blessings after manipulation. All right. There is something that is being manipulated at the bottom. Okay. There could be a player that's around you that's trying to put in work for a relationship. And that's where that Three of Swords came from. But you're getting over it. All right. To me, this feels like past energy. Okay. Sexual, very sexual relationship as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's kind of a, it's a, I'm hearing heartbreak. The heartbreak was kind of the energy that was going around towards the end of February, guys. It really was. And up there, and it's it's blocking. Somebody's blocking, not seeing the path that they're supposed to be on. Someone could be a little on the bitter side now because of how all of the things that have ended up. You have a Libra energy around you that I believe is trying to cause some sort of conflict. Again, moon energy, and it's in regards to love. Is it unconditional? No, I don't think so. Okay. There's something, someone's scared here. Someone has fear here because of something that someone has done. That's why I said you're very, you're trying to use your discernment about how you're going to be moving forward here. Someone's also, I don't know, I feel, I feel there's a scared energy here, especially when it comes to being at home and whatever it is that you need to do, wherever your relationships are taking you right now. Twin flame energy, and then this is your own energy here. It's, it's almost like there could be a block for you. Yeah, there's some sort of deception here. It's like this person is still around you. That's why I'm saying there you may not really be seeing or the confusion about, you know, being overprotective in some way shape or form. You could feel blocked by that because of the the energy someone's giving to you. You here here's the deal, okay? I don't see that it's meant to block you on purpose. You have two people around you. One person is not meant to block you. Okay, the other person is trying to block you. All right, and it could you could be dealing with a Gemini energy here. Uh, for some of you guys, you may have had some sort of sexual experience with somebody that you're just in your head about now. Yeah, and all you can do you can't stop thinking about this particular person. Okay, like you're you're stuck. You're stuck in thinking about them. Nine of Wands energy could be Sagittarian energy here. Yeah, I, so something definitely unexpected. I feel like somebody came at you, came out of nowhere, okay? There's a lot of cards that keep trying to come out here, but I did see the tower moment, all right? So sex, 
money, but this is to me, this is going to talk about sexual opportunities, possibly something that you're planning. You're a little stressed out about that. You're a little stressed out about that. Yeah, your other person. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy, bottom of the deck. They're, this is okay. Are they a divine pair for you? But there's a divine pair here. So someone who's definitely emotionally uh, settled. I'm hearing that goes here. Okay. I, I laid them as they wanted me to lay them. This is the story that they're going to be telling here. So your other person is happy, okay? They feel invested, they see you as an opportunity, but you're not making a decision here. I told you again, you do have some sort of Libra energy around you. There is an energy of saying, okay, how do we do this? How do we make this right? You could be at a distance from this particular person. And again, this 10 of wands energy, yeah. Somebody needing to release a burden of things that are manifested. Tell me about this, this magician here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't think that the truth and clarity, see this is the tower moment that we just saw. We were meant to see that. This is this three of pentacles, you know, unexpectedly coming together with somebody not and, and receiving some sort of communication. There's also someone who's going to be spying on this magician. There could be, um, the magician to me would kind of be a Virgo energy. Maybe even this Libra. Spying on this Libra, releasing burdens. Something needs to be, I don't know, I heard reported. Something needs to be taken control of. Okay? Something needs to be taken control of. There's, all right, this person is on the defense because of the fact that they love and care for you so much. They do want to give to you. I feel like they feel like you are a soulmate. You make them happy here. Mm -hmm. They're waiting to talk to you, though, because they feel that you're blocked in some way, shape, or form. And it has something to do with mind games manipulation, okay? And again, it, it came right back out to the bottom of the deck. This relationship here, what is this? Is this your past pain? What is the past pain? But you're getting over it, right? And this new opportunity, you're just not feeling it because you intuitively know something's up here. Tell me about this high priestess energy. Uh-huh. Hermit energy. I'm telling you, there's something to do with this Virgo energy. It's the Virgo full moon that came out here. Has quite a bit to do with it. Quite a bit to do with it. What else do we need to know? Yes. Yeah, look, you cannot make it up. Ace of Wands clarifying the Ace of Wands. They said everything you need to know is right here. You are dealing with a new opportunity. This is someone that has come into you. You're a little on the confused side. You might be overthinking this is, is basically where it's at, especially with this Nine of um, Swords being here. Tell me. Okay. They're like, please just don't lose sight of what it is that we are offering you. This is because it's wood energy. It came with the full moon. Yeah. Okay, there's multiple people here. There are definitely multiple people here having relationships, okay? Somebody could possibly be trying to block your intuition here. Pisces, five of cups too. Five of cups, five of cups. Three of swords, mm-hmm. Two of swords, something you're not seeing, you're blinded to it, or somebody's trying to block you from seeing something here. Mm -hmm. Somebody's trying to block you from seeing that there's a divine feminine energy that has the ability to take charge in life. But then there's also another party here too. Somebody found out something possibly about their friend. Mm -hmm. And it's really stressing them out. And you're trying to keep quiet about whatever it is that you have found out about. Okay. And, and listen, for whatever reason, I feel like you had a happy home life and then this third party keeps trying to intervene here. They're trying, this is a third party that is trying to block you. There is some, and I, you guys know that I consider this to be my black magic card. So there is some sort of black magic card, especially that it comes sitting next to your energy. Um, and there's deception that's being put around that. Okay. This is, airy, okay. The four of wands is about love. Okay, so it's almost like you have let someone in from the outside that chose to hurt you, all right? There's going to be some block over money, all right, if you continue to allow this person to try to block you. Intuitively, you know what this is, is going on and what's happening here. Tell me about Pisces' plans here. What is this? Look, 
You, you guys, you can't make it up. High priestess clarifying the high priestess. All right. This is, I feel like there's possibly a spiritual war here. All right. Could be with an Aquarius energy right here or the, the Aquarian energy. This is the intelligence that you need to move forward here. Yeah. Four of swords. Is that, yeah, four of swords. Is this spiritual warfare? Two people going at it? Two high priestesses that are trying to bring an end to some sort of, you know, generational curse possibly when it comes to abundance, trying to set forth on a healing journey here? Pretty much what it feels like. You got outside people trying to come in and offer you stuff, okay? One of, and what's crazy is you, you, these two, you could have two people here right if one of this is you and and the other one is another person what you're seeing here is one person is offering you beauty and blessings this other person is offering you stress someone else needs your help they want your energy okay they're planning on taking your energy but there is also something here around the other person because i don't feel like you're seeing this other person okay You have two you have two choices here. I mean, you have a an opportunity to change things. Tell me about Pisces other person, please. Yeah. Six of Swords trying to leave this situation. Okay? Of mind games and manipulation, not taking care of things. There's uh, Pisces, for some of you guys, there's just secret lovers here. Other people that are in the mix. There, there's something I almost want to say demonic about this, but again, it's this bitter energy. It's about learning to control a situation here, telling the truth, all right, in regards to love and true friendships and having to walk away from things that do not serve you. Baggage from the past, you know, this five of cups energy that apparently someone wants you to be sitting in. You don't need to sit in that. You don't. Somebody's offering you this opportunity to move into something great and something blessed. Out of the two people that are in your energy over here, this is the person that's going to stand out the most. The one that wants to bring you happiness and divine healing here. Okay? They want to invest in you. They want to be with you and love you. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they recognize the fact that you're on the defense for a reason. They do. They know that you want to move towards a, a more balanced and um, I'm hearing equilibrium. Like they want you to balance all of this out. They want your brain to balance out is also what I'm feeling. For you to take a hold in like your, your penile gland or something to, to cleanse that energy. Okay. Yeah. This is someone who loves you. Okay. Judgments over soulmates. The reconciliation of a soulmate here, you know, ending toxic cycles. They want to give to you properly here. Who is this person that's popping out? You have a lot of scorpionic energy here, okay? They're going to be taking action. They are coming back from the past to talk to you. They are going to be making an offer here. Slow and steady. One of these people over here is your friend. One of these people is and the other person is not. This is the person that's your friend. Uh-huh. Victory. Okay. Victory over clear thinking. Victory over the opportunity to see things very, very clearly now. Someone is going to be healing. You have the Ace of Pentacles energy. Yes. Soulmate contracts coming back from the past. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. There could be something that needs to move on with this other person or they had to let something go. You know? They could have been on the, the defense about the fact that they needed to end that energy. But now they're realizing that there is true happiness that's available. There is true happiness that's available. You also have a revelation here of someone else that could be giving to people that are in their past here. All right. It's very clear here that there is someone that has an egoic energy. If you are dealing with someone, they, they could have stopped dealing with you. They moved away from you. Um, because of things that had happened in the past, I feel like you stood up for yourself. Okay. You, you moved forward. Someone, there is someone else here that could have possibly moved forward. 
Someone, I'm hearing someone was told that they need to move on. Mm -hmm. There's there's something here where there's an you have everything going for you, but there's other people that get in the mix of what it is that you have going on and what it is that you have planned. Okay. And for some reason, I feel like Pisces, <clears throat> you're in two, two different worlds, all right? You have two different opportunities. And the thing is, is that everybody around you, you know, this is like you could have bully energy around you. You, you, t you have to learn not to let people bully you is what it feels like, okay? Like I said, three of, there's other people here that you are in relationships that you go round and round with, all right? The truth needs to come out about these soulmate contracts and whoever it is that's blocking you. Listen, you got a queen of swords here energy, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm gonna go with the Libra energy, all right? Because you've got so much Libra energy here. You intuitively know what needs to happen, what actions you need to take. I feel like you're stressed out about it though. You're stressed out about it. And you could be really kind of harsh with your words when you're dealing with somebody. Yep, look, it came back out. Yeah, they're talking about you need to release these burdens. All right? Especially releasing the burden um, when it comes to being, you know, emotionally imbalanced. Because I saw the Divine Feminine in this deck and it was reversed. But there's also this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Remember I said this is someone, This this could be... You know, you telling someone that you don't want to deal with them. And so now they're looking at you like, I can't believe you. They just watched you move on because they knew that they were trying to block you in some way, shape or form. They watched you move on. Listen, I, for some reason, if you do move on from this person, do know that they really only want your true happiness here. Okay. They do want your happiness, but there's going to be someone. There's someone else here that's going to say, hey, I'm just going to go do me. You see what I'm saying? Someone's real dissatisfied with your victory when it comes to this bully energy here. Someone's not happy that you're victorious, all right? And you need to sit, you need to kind of dial back from whoever this is. It's kind of, it's just a hater. It, it's what I'm feeling with this energy. It's a bully, it's a hater. Someone that wants to stop you from getting what it is that you deserve or whatever it is that you need to have here, okay? Could be a divine masculine energy around you. This is the what you're thinking about. Tell me about this. Yeah, I told you. Tell me about this four of swords. What's leaving here? Mm -hmm. Some sort of fatherly energy. You need to think about what it is that causes true abundance. This could be a materialistic energy. Or if there was some sort of divine masculine that wants to come around and offer you something, that you walked away from it. Yeah, walking away from this divine masculine because of the stress that's indicated here. Listen, and if you, you know, found out that your other person had more than one person that they were with, okay, and you decided to leave and become single, <laughs> that's crazy. It's okay, you know, it's okay to release your burdens, but what it's not okay is it's not okay to become bitter and to block yourself. You don't want that. You don't want that. You want to be successful. You're really thinking about having a husband and having that happy home life, right? This person was making you wait for that, all right? You're like, okay, you're putting an end to something that you really wanted to do, you really wanted to be with, but again, this person was making you wait, you know? It's like they were invested. Tell me about this Ten of Cups with the other person. They were invested for sex, okay? They were invested to have a good time. Man, that's crazy. Soulmate contracts. They literally, they have multiple offers going on here. Okay. For some of you guys, there could have been another divine feminine. This this love, they love you. I'm not even going to lie. This person does love you. But for some of you, this is someone who wants to see you be successful. And for others of you, this is someone who's only worried about their own ego. And has never gone through an ego death and does not know, you know, how to handle that they don't know how to handle that sexual offers is what they deal with okay yeah and I told you it's it's that bully energy you got out of it though sexual offers ten of cups and ace of wands with the five of swords and the king of hearts 
Mm -hmm. Four of Pentacles. This person is not trying to give to you the way that they should be. And logically, it's because the thinking behind all of this, all right, especially with their past actions with this is because of their ego here. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, it's confusion again. Seven of Cups, okay, and taking this break. Someone's trying to cause deliberate confusion here. Yep, and it's, it's just too much stress. They're doing it on purpose. That's unfortunate. It's a family curse that needs to end here. It causes too much confusion. You guys, yeah, this is definitely a family curse. Lots of people involved here too, especially over here. And this, what I'm hearing is, is that like this person, it's almost, some of, some of you guys, this person is a little demented. You know, they, they wanted to bring you harm. When they saw you leave and you know, they were on the defense. And so now that you've left, it's like they threatened to end your finances of some sort. And they might even um, be over you. But you don't care. You don't care. You're in your power. To me, this would be Empress Energy. You're okay. You're okay with walking away. You're okay with leaving some sort of situation where the masculine is emotionally trying to abuse you. To me, this is emotional abuse. You know, somebody who's waiting on sexual favors from you, but then emotionally tries to abuse you. Yeah, this person is in their ego. Listen, they think like this. I'm telling you, this is what it is. This is family curse energy. They think like this because that's how they were taught. And they're on the defense because they see the shift coming. They see the end of either the sexual vibration, past life energy, or, um, you know, just the ability to take from your energy. Yeah, it's the divine masculine putting an end to whatever it is that they were doing for such a very long time. It's over. It's done. Yes. What is it that, oh, you guys, the Vimeo extended link is going to be below. Thank you so much for all of the likes, shares, and subscribes. If you've made it this far, please hit that like button um, and help the channel to grow, okay? Career. This is what they want you to be working on. This is what's being manifested. You, Yeah, because you're growing. That's what I said. They want you to be confident in the things that you do. Have commitment and faith in the transformation that's going to be coming forward here. You have at least four or five people around you, Pisces. All right? There's something that needs to change. There's someone who loves you, but they walked away. Okay, they've got other people that they're giving to that were in the past. You also have a bully here that also wants to take advantage of you for sex. All right, so just kind of summing all of this up, we're going to go over into the extended and see whatever else we need to find as far as inspiration goes, you know, for your soul here. It needs to be well with your soul is what I hear. You know, you guys are here for a reason. It needs to be well with your soul because you are stepping into you know, being a very beautiful person, all right? This person tries to make you feel bad. You don't need to feel bad, all right? You're beautiful. You're gorgeous. You're a rock star, all right? And you're going places, all right? So releasing someone that is not fully on your team, okay? That's that's it. That's it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. There's some sort... Mm, here, even in this energy, it's putting an end to a specific cycle. I feel like for those that don't want you to shine, I will say this. They're trying to put an end to your money and your happiness. This and, oh my goodness. All right, I will see you guys over in the extended. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Peace and elbow grease.